I cannot believe that the Democrats have, because there's no intellectual <laughs> efficacy to their argument. So now they have to go to, well, people will commit crimes and commit fraud if we don't pay them more money for not being sick. I mean, you know, let me tell you something. The people in New Jersey know that that is a complete pile of garbage and that what this really is about is certain liberal Democrats led by people like Paul Sarlo who say that $7,500 per person, which amounts to a three and a quarter billion dollars of additional burden on the taxpayers, is just a small amount of money. Why is the governor arguing with us over a small amount of money? Only a liberal Democrat could say three and a quarter billion dollars is a small amount of money to property taxpayers and income taxpayers in this state. So I'm simply, this is one where I'm not compromising. And every dollar that accumulates from here forward is the responsibility of the Democrats in the legislature. There is a solution here. And I am not gonna solve it by putting another three and a quarter billion dollar burden on the backs of New Jersey taxpayers who are already overburdened. That's what the Democratic Party stands for. It is not what the Republican Party stands for. We stand for unburdening taxpayers and not giving gifts to the public sector unions. And understand something, folks, that's all this is. This is a political sop to the public sector unions. They just don't want to say no to their political patrons who just donated hundreds of thousands of dollars to their political campaigns this past November. That's what this is about. So it's time for the Democrats in the legislature to stand up and be upright men and women about this. Zero means zero. I'm not compromising.